Hi guys, I'm Sir Fox Sword. This is part four of my How to Be a Boss in the GTA Online missions. Uh, this mission is going to be Base Invaders. I was going to do the other job that is in the fourth slot of the numerical order or alphabetical order of the jobs. But it's too easy, so I think you should do that by yourself, guys. Well, listen to the wall, should be piss. Anyway. I'm going to start base invaders. Now this mission is really tricky and it will take a little bit of a plan to pull it off. Um, you're going to be attacking Zankuda Air Base. Basically we need you need to get to where I am now, Sandy Shores Airfield. And you will need to get into Ron's plane. Okay, there's two things about this plane. One, if this plane gets destroyed. The mission's over. Kaput, done, failed, you lose, etc. Number two, you don't actually need it. Once you've gotten into it, it triggers the mission. You don't have to use it. So if you're not good at flying, you can get in, get out, done, get your car, and then drive to the base. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to take the plane. So what this mission is going to involve guys is we're going to need three sticky bombs at least and a car with bulletproof tyres. Bulletproof tyres are very important in the missions because when you're being shot at they like to shoot your tyres and when you lose tyres you lose manoeuvrability. So it's a bit dangerous when you're in like drive-bys and being chased etc. So bulletproof tyres are always important, it's worth the money you spend on them. So if you can get bulletproof tyres on your vehicle, definitely get them. Anyway, on the way to the base, we're not going to land in the base with the plane, because like I say, if the plane gets destroyed, the mission's over. But also because we want a vehicle while we're inside, we don't want to be running around on foot because we're going to get just we're going to have no chance on foot pretty much guys it's going to be really hard on foot the military guys inside the base spawn forever and ever and ever they won't stop coming anyway as you can see just after that bridge there's a nice little length of dirt road that you can land the plane on quite safely This is what I usually do, land the plane there. And then bring up your quick interaction menu. And request personal vehicle. I'm going to have to wait 52 seconds until I can do that. So I'll just cut that bit out guys and I'll be back when I can call my vehicle. Okay, once you've been able to call your vehicle and you're in it. Then we're going to just head towards the end of this road, which meets the uh, bridge and tunnel that goes under the base. I'm going to take a little shortcut so we don't have to follow this road the whole way around. Okay, so if you hit this hill here correctly, you should land on the road is it too hard you're just going to keep going said gonna twice <laughs> but yeah just going to keep going but go through the tunnel and you'll see another dirt road to the left we're just going to follow this dirt road until we get to the bend at the end and you see the hill in front of us we're just going to aim straight forward now. Straight over the fence. And equip the sticky bombs. Sticky bombs are for the jets, guys. Don't explode them straight away. We're going to destroy them all at the same time. Because as soon as you destroy one, the alarm's going to go off. The whole place is going to light up. And it's going to be a really hard time. 
So make sure you get your bombs. See the alarm's just gone off. I actually managed to get the three sticky bombs out there before came really on top. Then you need to equip another gun. Destroy the jets and inside here there's three guys. Quickly dispatch of these guys with headshots. And then focus on the entrance for a second because you're going to need a few seconds to get into the chopper. Okay, so there's no one there. Window for the chopper. Quickly enter the chopper. Now this is the hairiest part, getting out of here without being shot in the face. Basically you want to get out as fast as you can. Helicopters have been shot quite a lot. But, that is basically all you need to do guys. Once you're at this point you're home free. If your chopper's not been destroyed by the guy shooting you. They are quite armoured, they do take quite a few bullets, but sometimes you'll see tanks in the in the army base. They'll pull up in front of the hangar. If it gets to that point, then you really are going to be waiting for a miracle to get out of there. This can be done. I've done it a few times with the tanks there, staring out down the uh, turret at me. Still managed to get out. But anyway guys, that should be... Uh, Mission completed. So if you follow these steps for this to complete this mission, you shouldn't really have too much trouble. All it takes really is a little bit of focus on driving. You need to be able to drive well. And also you need to be able to fly helicopters as well, especially the big fat cargo bobs because this is what you need to be stealing so guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video stick around part 5 will be coming soon so please like this video the more likes this video gets the more motivation I've got for making more videos for this series so as always guys I'm Sir Fuxord this was part 5 until next time peace